And I hear the music fading out, which is my cue to begin. So welcome everyone. Um, good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you're calling in from. Welcome to day three, um, the third and final day of the Alliance Annual Meeting for Child Protection and Humanitarian Action. Uh, we're so happy to be welcoming you today. Please feel free to introduce yourself in the chat, say hello, and let us know where you're calling in from today. Um, we're going to get started with this warm-up session um, on the new and improved Alliance website, which has been recently redesigned and launched online. Um, we're going to move on to the um, new Alliance website. So we have four um, points that we'd love to go through with you and show you the new website. So I'm going to hand over to my colleague, Anissa, who has um, been an intern with me and then transitioned into working with me um, on the new Alliance website. She's been a, a key role in really making this website a reality. Um, so I'll hand it over to Anissa to share with you what's new. And Julie, we can please move to the first um, slide of the website. Great. Awesome, Kara. Thank you for the warm welcome. Hello, everyone. It is my great privilege to introduce our new and improved Alliance website. So here you can see our homepage. And Julie, if you don't mind just hovering over the vacancies um, at the top. So we have our vacancies here where you can click to find new job openings. We have our join the alliance button, where if you haven't become a member yet, we encourage you to click on that button and join. And then we have our community of practice, which we have spoken about um, during our annual meeting, a, a platform where child protection actors can engage and interact with each other. And then on the right hand side, we have all our languages. Um, so very easy access to access those um, tabs. And then scrolling down, we have our home page. So here you can see we have our vision and our mission right at the home page in the front. We have our strategy 2021 to 2025, which is a, a large focus of our annual meeting this year, um, as well as our CPMS handbook, which we also have pulled right in the front. Um, and if you continue scrolling, Julie, what we really wanted to do was just pull out all of the key information and resources um, so that our members could access everything with ease right on the home page. So we have our latest news where we encourage you to see if um, keep updated with the Alliance and see what we've been working on. And if you scroll down, we have Stay Connected where we have our social media entry points, subscribing to our newsletter, we have our member organizations with their icons right front and center. And then if you scroll all the way to the bottom, we have our footer with quick links that will get you to places that you need to go. If you want to learn about the Alliance, it's right there. If you're looking for a specific resource, you can access that um, right from here as well. And now if we uh, move on to our next tab. So here we um, a, a big part of, of this redesign was how do we make searching for resources easier? And um, so what we what we really decided to do was um, through our keywords. So Julie, if you search for child protection, for example, um, you can really search up any keywords that that you might be interested in looking for. And then if you scroll down, it will pull up anything that has the word child protection um, in the resource right front and center for you to access um, with ease. And then if you scroll back up, Julie, and if you just try searching for child, so maybe if you don't really know what you're searching for, you, you have a drop down full of options that the Alliance website um, produces for you. So you can really scroll down and see, hey, maybe that's something I'm looking for. I don't really remember the name. Um, but that's what it is. And that's going to make finding resources um, a much more pleasurable time. And now if we move on to our next tab. So another um, main mission of ours was to, to really work on our navigation bar and separate our resources to make sure that you all can find um, resources, technical guidance and materials much easier. So um, here we have our technical guidance and materials page. So if you if you know that you're looking for a specific 
um, guidance material, you can click on to, right to this page and you can either scroll down and see um, the latest work that we've been working on. They're all ordered from most recent to least. Or again, if you're looking for something specific, you're welcome to use the um, search function that's embedded right into the page as well. And then if you move on to the next tab, um, here, same thing for trainings and e-learning. So we wanted to pull out two of our e-courses, um, our e-course and our face-to-face -face training package right out um, front and center for, for our members to find with ease. But again, you could scroll down or if you know what you're looking for, you're welcome to use the search function. So on our um, trainings and e-learnings page, we've pulled out a lot of Moodles, e-courses and learning packages um, that we have produced by the Alliance. And then if we move to our next tab, so here is an example of a working group page. So here we're showcasing the learning and development page. And um, the design for this, the thought process was we have about the, the learning and development working group. So we wanted to give our members a chance to learn about um, what the working group's mission is and what their focus is. Um, also, what organizations um, do they partner with? So we have that um, pulled out right front and center. And then if you scroll, um, you can continue scrolling. Yep. So at the bottom right here, then we start to provide resources. So here you could see the resources that the learning um, and development working group has created. And if you're in a rush, now, Julie, if we scroll to the top and you already know what the learning and development working group does, you can click right to learning and development working group resources, and it will drop you right down to the section, uh, the meat of the page where you'll be able to, to access um, resources and materials specifically created by the learning and development working group. Okay, and now if we move to our next tab. So um, what we really wanted to showcase is our new and improved navigation bar. So Julie, if you can just hover over um, who we are, we can start with that. So we wanted to, to make finding um, anything that you're looking for a lot more clear. So we have our who we are, where we have learn about the Alliance, our team, our strategy. So another access point um, in addition to having it on the homepage, become a member, which you can also access through the join the Alliance button. Um, under what we do, we've pulled out our working group and task force um, and initiative pages right out front and center. So there's not much clicking involved to find the resource that you are looking for. Under resources, um, we thought a lot on, on how to separate the number of um, different materials that we have on our website to make finding resources um, much easier. We have our thematic hubs here, which are, are sort of like micro sites um, where our different leads have, have worked so hard to produce um, their materials and contents. And we really wanted to highlight that front and center. We have our latest tab, um, which entails all of the new information to stay updated um, at the Alliance. And then we have our annual meetings tab, which um, you'll be able to access and see what we've been working on in the past and um, what annual meeting topics we'll be working on in the future, as well as that um, search bar right at the top. Right. And now if we move to our next tab. So here, this is an example of our child protection minimum standards page. So if you scroll down, we really wanted to make it very interactive and fun. So we have um, all of these these different links that we showcase with an icon um, to make it more visually appealing where you can directly click on them um, to access more information. And if you scroll down, um, we have our, our videos, we have different blocks set up on, on how to use the Alliance, on the Alliance, how to use the CPMS, um, where to access the e-course on, how to implement and contextualize or measure the CPMS. A lot of um, great information that we have um, really worked to make more interactive and fun. And if you move on to our next tab, so here is our um, child protection and COVID-19 page. So if you click on select a category, um, Julie, again, what we did here was um, we put a, a drop down. So we have five different um, categories that, that we're showcasing on this page and it will drop you right down to where you need to be. Or you can you know, free scroll if, if you're looking um, just to see what the, 
this initiative has been working on. And then if you go to our last tab, so here we have a glossary. So um, we've been talking about jargon in the past and um, we really wanted to have a, a glossary where we put commonly used terms um, across used across the Alliance website in one place. So you're able to um, search by alphabet or just scroll down and, and see the different um, terms that we use and exactly what they mean. And if there's one thing that you notice, um, or I hope that you've noticed throughout this tutorial is that their speed has been so much faster. So we're very proud to say that um, this new and improved website also comes with lightning speed. It's way faster than it was on the previous website. And we're hoping that those who live in um, countries that may not have the best internet connection are able to have an easier time access accessing resources on the Alliance website. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. We encourage you all to go on to our new page and check it out for yourself. Um, and back to you, Kira. Great, thank you so much, Anissa, for that great quick tour of the Alliance website. And um, like she said, please head over there and uh, check it out. And without further ado, I will uh, hand it over to uh, Sandra, I believe, to take us into our first uh, plenary session. Thank you so much, everybody, for listening. Mm -hmm.